Meanwhile, this exchange, this exchange, uh, this is the second half of the interview with Wolf Blitzer. Bloomberg has flown there, commercial, to in some way uh, prove that Israel is very safe. And like I say, I think it's a very good argument as to why Israel uh, no longer needs to be firing missiles into uh, Gaza and uh, causing the deaths of killing uh, these uh, Palestinian civilians. Now, one of the ideas that has been floated by guys like Ted Cruz and AIPAC is that the U.S. government, the FAA, specifically was in trying to force Israel to capitulate was trying to give Hamas some type of victory by telling commercial fly airlines uh, emanating from the United States, you cannot fly into Ben Gurion, it is not safe. Particularly at a time, obviously, when we've just had a commercial plane shot down out of the sky, 200 plus people killed. Now, this is very strange because Wolf Blitzer asked the question, do you think this is politically motivated, which I guess is a good opportunity to knock down this idea. And Bloomberg responds, in a way, I think that is responsible, that of course not. But he does so with such intensity that it's, it's weird. And I, can't, I don't know what to make of it. Play, play this. Thing in typical bureaucratic fashion. Political reasons for that? That's, why would you think that? Do well, you think it? I'm asking you. I'm ridiculous. Why would you think that? It's an outrage for you to accuse one of our I'm agencies. Not I'm just you, asking. By, by asking the question, you're implying that our government does things for political reasons. And maybe every once in a while they do. But it's your job to prove it. Just the allegation against our government, I, not, I personally I take asking, as an offense. No, 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 I'm just asking you if you thought that there was some political motive behind the travel advisory number one, or the FAA number decision. Number one, I wouldn't There's know. There's a lot of people in Israel do, you know. I don't know. You don't know. And the other people don't know, but just the, the the tone of the question of trying to create dissension, it's insulting to America. What do you think? <laughs> now, I'm sorry. The, the, I, I can't quite figure out what's going on here, but something is going on with that exchange. That exchange does not make any sense. And Michael Bloom, I mean, that exchange. Look, Michael Bloomberg had that answer prepared. There's no doubt in my mind, because he was responding to something that was not asked in the way that he that uh, Bloomberg responded to it. That's a question like, no, of course not. And Wolf Blitzer seemed almost surprised on some level, but I, I don't know what that was about. You know, and Bloomberg said to be that offended at the asking of the question and saying, I don't know, we don't know, or it's up to you to provide proof for something like that, that is just not, that exchange was off. And I know that it is a technique in communication to very often raise something uh, by vociferously denying it. In other words, the idea that Michael is going around <laughs> boozing up every day and coming in here and not doing his work is ridiculous, and it is ridiculous for you to bring that up. That my producer, look, I don't know what he does on his own time. I don't know. <laughs> I can't know. But I just, it just is offensive that someone would make that claim that he is boozing it up and coming into the office drunk off his ass and doesn't know what to do and doesn't get anything done. In <laughs> fact, that is up to you to prove because we don't know that. That's all I want to we, say. We let the Chinese study. They come here and then they go back and they're the Chinamen. I make no apologies for that. I'll continue to speak out. That's all Michael, I'm saying. That's Michael, all I'm saying. Michael, that exchange was strange. That exchange was strange. That exchange was strange.